My name is uh, LJ Anima. My age is 30 at the moment, and I'm from Holland. Now, uh, my dad was a 12-time national champion in Holland, and um, yeah, I think from a very young age, five or six years old, he uh, brought me to the squash court. Uh, not only the squash court, also tennis court and hockey field, you know, so uh, it started very young because of my dad. It was uh, probably my dad, <laughs> and uh, I didn't beat him. Um, I think it took me till the age of 14 uh, that I actually uh, beat him for the first time. He was uh, very competitive, he still is. He would never give me anything, but uh, the day that I beat him for the first time, he was uh, very proud. Beating Peter Nichol uh, in the first round of the Windy City Open in uh, 2005. It was in uh, Chicago, and uh, Peter Nichol had been my hero, my, uh, my idol for years, you know. Um, he was on a big uh, poster above my bed. Um, he was the reason why I moved to England to, to train with, uh, with his coach. And then a few years later I had to play him in the first round of uh, Chicago. And my only worry before I played him was uh, just don't look like a fool in front of these people who are watching here, you know. Just, uh, just, just try and stay in the rally. Probably uh, the World Open a couple of years ago in Rotterdam, uh, so in my home country. Um, I played Gregory Golce in the third round uh, in front of a full uh, Luxor theater. Um, I think there were about a thousand, uh, thousand uh, people watching uh, my game and the atmosphere was like uh, a Davis Cup atmosphere. It was, I, think, I think that's what the Davis Cup players feel like, you know, when they play in front of so many people. Uh, it was a magical atmosphere, a lot of love in the air. But, uh, I really looked up to uh, Peter Nichol because uh, he was uh, left-handed. I'm left-handed. He was uh, very uh, professional and um, just the fact that he was number one in the world for five years in uh, such a brutal sport uh, really uh, impressed me. And then when I started to, to get to know him, um, he impressed me as a person as well, you know. Um, it's a dangerous question, man. Uh, <laughs> I think, you know, I'm a chocoholic, you know, so I would probably only eat chocolate. I would uh, buy several chocolates from several brands you know and like light them up and i would buy uh, chocolate milk as well and i would uh, i wouldn't even eat like pizza or hamburger no way just just eat chocolate for the whole night i would uh, probably import uh, women's uh, lingerie in holland that's what i would uh, would do yeah.